So trickle down technology from the Blade series down to speakers such as the LSX would be something like the UniQ. Could you talk about that? Yeah, UniQ um, yep. and, and bracing. So there's two things I want to touch on as quickly as I can here because the UniQ is the thing that we all see. And I'm going to save a little bit of time to talk about UniQ in depth. But one of the things that matches in terms of technology, obviously it's going to be different in, in sort of um, in execution. But the bracing technology that we put into Blade is, is phenomenal. And, and literally, you can take a, a, a quarter or a nickel and put it up on top of there and drive them at 105 dB, and you will not topple that, that nickel over. Um, that cabinet just does not vibrate. And so the beauty about that is you're not hearing a speaker uh, cabinet, right? You're hearing what the speakers produce. And that same technology now we've applied to LSX and to LS50, LS50 wireless. It's got this neat little box. Reference has got the same thing. Really, the whole product line, we've really uh, stepped up the, the, the game of, of bracing a cabinet so that it does not vibrate. So what your, uh, what your favorite artist or what your music or, or your movie was intending you to hear is that that's what you're hearing. So you couple that now with UniQ, which is this really cool technology. A lot of people look at it and go, oh, it's just a coax speaker. And it's not, it's, you know, it, I guess from a physics standpoint, it is a coax speaker because it has a tweeter inside of the, the mid range driver, but more technically correct. It's a, it's a coincident driver. So the, everything is time aligned so that we didn't just stick the tweeter into the center of the driver and say, here we go. We've got it. Everything is, is, is time aligned. The waveguides are all precise. The, the mid range driver actually acts as a waveguide for the tweeter. And the the surround, and in particularly if we're going to talk about LS and the shape of the the LS family, that sort of beveled uh, round shape, that continues to act as a waveguide for both the mid range and mm -hmm. the tweeter. So all of this technical mumbo jumbo, what it results in is really pure soundstage, such that your sweet spot, you know, the the chair that we all fight in, fight for to sit in when we want to listen to something is now literally 160 degrees wide. So if, if I if you and I happen to get together, we're listening to music and you've got the center chair and I'm over to your right, I'm hearing the left channel um, the same way that you are, because the time alignment of the high frequencies and the low frequencies is matched. It's like perfectly matched. So um, the what we wanted to escape, what we tried to fix was a design flaw in most speakers that if you had the tweeter here and you had the, and you had the mid range here, you have the same sound leaving from two places at the same time. Well, right. It's like the train from Chicago and the train from St. Louis, they arrive in New York at different times. And that's what happens with sound. And your brain is not able to process that sound um, as cleanly as, as it should. So what we've done is by precisely placing this tweeter, in the center of the mid range, we've aligned that time so that no matter where you're sitting uh, in the room, there, there are, the sound is arriving at your ears at the same time. It's pretty phenomenal. The sound stage is, is just it's just amazing that it develops. Yeah, I concur. I have them on my desk right now. I use them as my monitors. Um, yeah. What's um? Can you explain the uh, the tangerine? Like, why'd you call it tangerine? Okay, well, because it kind of looks yeah. like a tangerine, wait, you know, just kind of a, a cool name, and I, you know, um, so the tangerine waveguide is basically like a compression driver. So what what it does is it, it sits over the the tweeter and it it sort of acts as a further waveguide to the high frequency driver, um, and but it also allows us to get. I don't have the number off the top of my head. It's a couple of dB more energy out of the out of the tweeter than we would if it didn't have that um, that compression driver in front of it right so a compression driver right it builds it's like putting your thumb over the end of a garden hose and you know, the more you put it over the the higher the, the rate of the water that comes out that's the same thing with what the tangerine waveguide does and that's also part of the the time alignment between the the mid-range driver and the tweeter the, the tangerine waveguide plays a really critical role in that um and you know it's kind of useful if you have a two-year-old in the house too uh that was just a happy sort of thing that we got from it but that's not why we designed it 